Hey guys, Jafar here. This video will be focused on the Harbour Monument and will include the different loot, layout and features the Harbour Monument provides. The Harbour can obviously only be found within the coast of Rust and comes in two different variations which includes the large and small harbour. The two harbour types can be distinguished from within the plan map and will provide a completely different layout compared to each other. However, don't be discouraged by the small harbour since it's still a great location to quickly loot up and acquire some useful tools and items while providing the same amount of utilities. The harbour can be classified as a low tier monument since it is close to newly spawned players and does not emit radiation, allowing any new spawn or player to enter the vicinity. The harbour also does not contain any enemy AI such as the scientist which can be found at higher tier monuments and roaming the roads. For acquiring loot, both types of harbours contain anchored cargo ships, shipwrecks, containers, forklifts and military trucks which can offer basic crates, military crates and barrels providing you with possible guns, tools, resources and clothing. There are also many buildings and crane-like structures the player can climb to escape danger or scout their surroundings. However, do not expect to find any crates or barrels hiding up there. Both types of harbours feature a recycler and both are positioned to the right side of the monument in relation to the water. For the large harbour, the recycler is located outside the large shipping building to the right hand side of the monument. For the small harbour, the recycler is located hiding behind a wall on the larger dock. A small oil refinery can also be found at most harbour spawns which will allow players to require low grade fuel in exchange for crude oil. For the large and small harbour, the oil refinery can be found around the middle of the monument after going down a flight of stairs. A green puzzle system can be found within both types of harbours and will require one green card and one electric fuse. A green key card can be found within low tier monuments and on top of desks which is further demonstrated within my small monument guide video. For each the large and small harbour the puzzle will reside in a different location and require a different path to take. For the small harbour you want to locate the second story building to the right hand side of the harbour facing the water which features sandbags surrounding the second floor. Enter the first floor and once inside find the fuse box and insert your electric fuse, followed by turning it on with the switch to the right. This should now unlock the door on the second floor of your building which is the puzzle room. To enter you must swipe your green key on the card scanner to open the door. Within the puzzle room one crate can be found along with a blue access key card on the desk which will be used for higher tier monuments. For the large harbour you want to find a small room out the front of the hangar on the dock and next to the railway. If you're the first player in a while to find this building you will find a barrier block in the entrance. These can be quickly bashed down using a rock or any other tool. Once inside find the fuse box and insert your electric fuse preceded by turning it on with the switch on the outside of the building. Now quickly run to the hangar located on the dock and find a second small room which should have a green keycard scanner outside. You can also follow the power lines above to find where the puzzle door is. Once you've used your green keycard the door should now open and you can find a single crate followed by a blue access keycard on the desk. You should also know your electric fuse has a decay bar and will eventually run out. When your electric fuse runs out the power to the door will shut off closing it. This means you have a limited amount of time to get to the puzzle room to take the loot. If you happen to be in the puzzle room when this happens, you can simply locate the red button beside the door to open it, allowing yourself to escape. That's it for the low tier harbour monument which is a great location for fresh spawns or low tier players looking to quickly gear up or acquire a blue access keycard for higher tier monuments. Thanks guys for watching and I hope to see you in the next video.